<coughs> Professor Itzik Ben Israel, distinguished panelist, guests, ladies and gentlemen, Noar Shocher Madashi Giulikan, welcome to Tel Aviv University's workshop on science, technology, and security. And I really appreciate all of you who are here and not in the other place, Herzliya. This is the 63rd meeting uh, of the workshop, which has been running for eight years. The goal of the workshop is to help keep science and technology at the top of Israel's national agenda. This is done by bridging between academic researchers, policymakers, and the public, and the general public, the mixture, I think, that we have here today. Over the past two years, the workshop has focused on space research and its uh, contribution to society. The recent cooperation between Israel, United States, and Europe on space research is largely thanks to Professor uh, Itzik Ben Israel, who heads the workshop and chairs the Israel Space Agency. The combination of space and science is a potent one at Tel Aviv University. The late physicist that was mentioned by Itzik, Yuval Neeman, the second president of Tel Aviv University and my colleague at the uh, Faculty of Exact Sciences, was the founding chairman of the Israel Space Agency, and the workshop, as you heard, is named after him. The first Israeli astronaut, Ilan Ramon, a graduate of ours, flew into space on the Columbia uh, space shuttle to carry out a Tel Aviv University experiment. His life was tragically lost in the shuttle, uh, but Ilan's contribution to science lives on. On another matter, our Tel Aviv University professor, Pinchas Alpert, heads the Israeli NASA node, an archive of regional and local Earth observation operated in cooperation with NASA and several other institutions. The data, which is available to anyone, is used for climate and environmental research. The list is still longer. Solar energy specialists at Tel Aviv University laid groundwork for sending NASA rovers uh, to Mars. Astronomers, astrophysicists, and planetary scientists have uh, played key role in international teams that discovered planets, uh, entire galaxies, black holes, and more and more and more. Finally, space is actually a unique place in our consciousness. It is the, I would say, physical equivalent of our mind's boundlessness. So what we have here today is an interdisciplinary meeting of the minds, many minds here, and I urge all the minds here to use your imagination and make it soar. Thank you very much. <laughs>